Hi folks, I'm Dr. Michael Jones, president of the Medical Exercise Training Institute and the originator of the Medical Exercise Specialist Certification and Workshop. We started this back in 1994 as a result of what we saw was a huge gap between healthcare and fitness. Now since then our programs have evolved and now we have a new training series, our Medical Exercise Specialist Training Series. This actually allows you, the fitness professional that wants to bridge the gap between healthcare and fitness, to earn either our Medical Exercise Specialist Certification or our post rehab Conditioning Specialist Certification. So if you got a few moments, let me tell you a little bit about our program. Medical exercise professionals are desperately needed around the world. Now we coined a phrase a few years ago called the Medical Exercise Specialist Big Six. And what this refers to are the six chronic medical conditions that cost our healthcare system the most dollars around the world. So let's take a look at these. Total joint replacement, diabetes, osteoarthritis, hypertension, low back pain, and obesity. Now these conditions at this point, they're chronic diseases, they're at epidemic levels, and they're costing our healthcare system billions of dollars. These six conditions, or I should say one is a procedure, these respond well to exercise, structured protocol-based exercise after physical therapy, chiropractic, and medical care are over. And for the last 22 years, our medical exercise specialists, post rehab conditioning specialists, and medical exercise program directors around the world have been delivering top-notch services to these clients via referral from doctors, therapists, and chiropractors, and they've done a great job. So obviously you're here now to bridge that gap between healthcare and fitness. So let's learn a little bit more. When we look at these chronic diseases, we have to look at what we call wasted billions. Let's look at some of these statistics. Diabetes affects some 25.8 million Americans at a cost of $245 billion annually. Hypertension, 67 million are affected at a cost of $93.5 billion. Low back pain, now 80% of Americans at some point in their life will lose at least one day of work due to low back pain. The 2010 cost of back pain in America was $100 billion. You can add an extra $16.9 billion to that price tag for the treatment associated with laminectomy infusions, the surgical procedures that are done for disc herniations. Osteoarthritis, now this one is even more interesting. 27 million are affected. It results in 409,000 hospitalizations annually at a cost of $407 billion. Total hip and total knee replacements. These are usually done as a result of osteoarthritis. Look at the numbers here. 450,000 hips are done, 720,000 knees are done, and again, folks, they respond well to exercise after physical therapy and chiropractic care is done. Obesity. Now, in the last couple of years, the American Medical Association has officially determined that obesity is an acceptable medical diagnosis. Look at these numbers. There's an estimated $190 billion in cost, and these costs are also associated with the conditions that include colon cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and hypertension. So you can see, we've got a big problem on our hands. We're wasting billions of dollars, and all of these conditions respond well to structured protocol-based exercise, which is what we train our medical exercise specialists and post rehab conditioning specialists to do. So let's learn a little bit more. All of these conditions that I just mentioned respond well to medical exercise training. So what is medical exercise training? It's the development of safe and effective exercise programming for individuals with medical conditions. We developed this universal logo for medical exercise training back in 2012. We wanted to allow our medical exercise specialists, post rehab conditioning specialists, and medical exercise program directors to be easily identified. And if you look at the logo here, it gives us four images here strength training, cardiovascular training, flexibility training, and then also the stethoscope. So when we look at this, cardiovascular training, strength training, and flexibility training, they're the basis for every medical exercise training program out there. And along with that, the stethoscope actually represents our medical exercise training protocols that we put together and we tested and tried for the last 22 years. These are the very basis for every aspect of our medical exercise specialist and post rehab conditioning specialist programs. So let's continue on. Our primary certification is that of the medical exercise specialist. We started this back in 1994. This was an idea I had and the title was based on a dream, literally a dream I had about how we could better manage medical conditions with exercise. So we coined this term back in 1994. We've used it continuously since that date 
And now we're even starting to find there's some organizations out there that are trying to knock it off. But we started this, we've used it, and we've got thousands of medical exercise specialists around the world that have completed our certifications and doing great jobs. So let's tell you a little bit more about the MES. This is the standard for medical exercise training around the world. As I said before, our medical exercise specialist or MES certification started back in 1994. We did our first course in Washington, D.C., actually in my physical therapy office. In ETI, or the Medical Exercise Training Institute, our medical exercise specialists are trained to provide medical exercise management of musculoskeletal, cardiovascular, neurologic, and metabolic diseases and disorders. Each MES learns how to manage medical conditions using a protocol-based approach to exercise, and most importantly, how to communicate effectively with medical professionals and produce outcomes for their clients, positive outcomes. Our MET protocols, as I mentioned earlier, are the basis for every aspect of medical exercise training services. So when you look at this medical exercise specialist certification, we have to look at the scope of practice for the medical exercise specialist. It includes the following, cardiovascular training, aquatic training, stability training, functional conditioning, lifestyle education, the assessment, balance training, flexibility training, and strength training. These are all done after medical services have been concluded. So this is that next logical step after physical therapy, chiropractic, and medical care is over. So folks, this is now the real key to getting clients to reach their optimal level of function. So as a medical exercise specialist, look at the different conditions that you can manage here. We're gonna actually teach you these in our medical exercise specialist training programs. So osteoarthritis, laminectomy, ankle sprain, cerebral palsy, diabetes, cerebral vascular accident or stroke, uh, ankylosing spondylitis, hypertension, meniscal tear, uh, bicipital tendonitis, uh, spinal stenosis. These are only a few of the conditions you'll learn. You'll look at more than 60 medical conditions as you go through our medical exercise specialist training series, whether you're doing our MES program or our PRCS program. Now, with these two programs, we have two tracks. We have our medical exercise specialist track that leads to certification as an MES, and then our post rehab conditioning specialist track that leads to certification as a post rehab conditioning specialist. Let me tell you a little bit more about each one of those. Our medical exercise specialist track, now this was our first certification. This is the one we started with in 1994. So with this certification, we provide MET guidelines and protocols for 60 plus medical conditions. We have downloadable lessons that are in the program. You have online and on-site learning options. So you can actually do a course online or actually attend an on-site course. We even have an MES study group. With each lesson, you'll find there's a video anywhere from 15 to 90 minutes. And these videos are very, very detailed, folks. You can download them, and they give you very great detailed uh, information on clinical anatomy, pathology, and medical exercise management and training, including exercise techniques. Each session also has a lesson guide and protocols. You may have multiple protocols that you can actually download. They're PDFs. They're yours to keep and use. We actually have a, a quiz for each lesson that you have to complete and turn in. And we also have payment plans available. Our base cost for our online training is $995. We'll talk later on in the program about our on-site options, but we also have payment plans available. And if you want to get more information, go over to medicalexercisespecialist.com to get that information. Now, we also have a post-rehab conditioning specialist track. This track is designed for the fitness professional that's just getting started in the medical exercise training realm. You just want to do a few clients that are medically based. You want to kind of, you know, dip your toes in it, just kind of see what the water is like to get started. So this is our entry-level medical exercise training certification. Now, this one started back in 1997. This was actually a spinoff of our MES program. We took the essential skills and knowledge that a medical exercise professional needed to possess and came up with a condensed version of the MES. So this started with our Essentials of Post Rehab course and hence the name Post Rehab Conditioning Specialist. Now, we said the MES has 50 lessons. The PRCS utilizes 33 of those lessons. Now, we have a number of options. We have a standard option where you can actually get a lesson every week or we have an accelerated option, which is priced at $597. And with that one, you get all the PRCS lessons at once, which means you can go through them at your own pace, as fast as you want or as slow as you want. We also get, you get two bonus lessons with our PRCS course. We also provide a PRCS exam review, and we recommend this option for those of you that are looking at 50% or less of your clientele being medical exercise training-based clients. Again, if you want to get more information on this, 
go to www.postrehabconditioningspecialist.com. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, hey, this medical exercise training thing sounds like it's for me. I have a, uh, a passion for working with a medically based client. I want to actually do more things. I want to get more meaning out of managing my clients. I don't want to just do personal training anymore. I want to do something that's going to be bigger and better and it's going to challenge me more. If that's the case, go over to medicalexercisespecialisttraining.com. Get information on our programs. Folks, we've been doing these programs now for 22 years. We've seen every possibility out there of your options as far as building a practice. We've seen everything out there with regard to how you're going to manage your clients. And folks, I'll tell you, this is the most detailed and comprehensive program you'll get any place on this planet with regard to building a strong medical exercise training practice, learning how to communicate with physicians, therapists, and chiropractors, but most importantly, learning how to manage the clients. And that includes learning the detailed anatomy, pathology, uh, medical exercise training guidelines, the assessment procedures, how to communicate effectively, that's all included in these courses. So if you want to start bridging the gap between healthcare and fitness, then I urge you, go over to medicalexercisespecialisttraining.com and get started right away. So thank you again, folks. All the best building your medical exercise training practice, and I hope to see you in our training program. Take care. Bye-bye.